The MSC in International Health and Tropical Medicine is aimed to create leaders in global health, the future leaders who would make a difference in the world that we live in today with respect to the health challenges that we encounter and the persistent challenges that we've been having difficulties in addressing in a sustainable way. I chose IHTM because it stood out in the way that it was focused on resource uh, limited context. I've always believed that despite what we call low income countries having low resources, it doesn't mean that there is nothing that can be done and I love how IHTM brings that in and says, okay, we don't have the resources, but this is what we can do um, to fix the problems or fix the challenges that we're facing in our countries. I would want to go back to Malawi and to uh, contribute to some of the challenges that we're facing. Students come from all around the world. We have two thirds of our students to date coming from less developed countries and contexts and having working experience in those contexts and lived experience in those contexts. The course offered a lot of diversity and that was something that I wanted to understand in entirety in how it is connected to global health and how it can impact health in general. I want to go back to India and work in the similar space with all the knowledge that I have gotten in uh, ISTM. So I was born and raised uh, in Southern Sudan uh, during the Second Sudanese Civil War. So I lived in an internally displaced person camp, so those were camps that were established for people displaced from other parts of Sudan. With what I've learned uh, so far, I hope to use that to help establish a research institution in South Sudan. We have not only training in being able to generate and engage with evidence, but also what do you do with that evidence? So it's not enough to just generate or critically engage with evidence, but to use that evidence to be able to communicate with policymakers, with the public. It's not just what you know, but it's what you do with what you know that makes a difference. I think this course stood out for me. It's very dynamic uh, and it's up to date. An important element for me was that leadership course uh, that is integrated within the original technical content of the course and it doesn't stand out on its own. Rather, it's woven and it's integrated within the course seamlessly. The highlight of my MSc IHTM experience was undeniably our research placement. I spent two months in Vietnam embedded in the Oxford Clinical Research Unit. It was a personally and professionally transformative journey. Global health is changing and so the curriculum has to change to be able to align best. This is a reflection of the innovation of our teachers on the course, but as well the students who come in and our alumni who are contributing what the curriculum ought to include and how we can continue to evolve it. You don't just learn the core topics of biostatistics and epidemiology, but you also delve into philosophy, politics, economics. So if you are somebody who wants to expand your horizons, give yourself literally an infinite set of skills, then IHTM is the course you should be thinking about. We have our students going to the Houses of Parliament to present policy briefs. We have relationship with parliamentarians who give us real life challenges and issues that they're encountering. I hope that it's caused me to grow as a person, but that I'm able to help others in Sudan uh, benefit from the knowledge that I have gained as well. And we collectively contribute towards a better public health practice in Sudan and elsewhere. It's very difficult to afford to study at Oxford, and this is why we rely on scholarships. We do our very best to try to generate as many scholarships as possible, such that our students would have the same opportunities, and that funding would not be a limitation for their privilege of being able to study here with us.